Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie. This is the week 16, April the 12th through the 18th, also VEDA Day 19's weekly book review. Okay, yeah, that didn't, that didn't sound very right. Um, the week is correct, and um, the fact that it is day 19 um, is correct for VEDA. And if you haven't been watching, it's video every day in April. Um, normally I don't put that in my intro, but it just kind of rolled off the tongue this morning. So, you know, that's what you're getting. Um, a huge happy birthday to my little brother. It is his birthday today. And since I'm doing a video every single day in April, I get to say happy birthday to him and it can live on, live on. Yes, yes, yes. So there really isn't a lifestyle portion for this week. Um, I have lots to do today. So I am going to make this a super quick weekly review because yeah, I barely read any books last week. Why am I saying that? Why do I say that? I don't know why I say that every single week. I read six books last week, but it, they all sort of came, um, Friday evening to Saturday. I like read all day on Saturday. I legit only had one book read last week until Friday night and Saturday. Uh, so, but yeah, so that's, that's the lifestyle portion, I guess. Let's get into the book reviews because I want to get this done. Like I said, I have lots to do today. I have lots of pre-recording for VEDA to get done. So the books that I read last week started off with The Legend by Dylan Allen. I place this in contemporary. I give it 4.5 stars. I give it four Steam fans. I listen to it as an audiobook. And this follows Remy and Cal and her, it's, um, it's shortened for Kalila. I believe it is such an original. I love the name. Love the name. So Remy and Cal were sort of teenage crushes in a relationship, but Remy is from this affluent family in this small town that is well-to-do, and Cal, her mother, is not the best and has a bit of a reputation, so the, in turn it fell onto her as being sort of a bad seed as well. Some things ended up happening and the two of them ended up getting separated. And then some things end up happening. She follows her dream of becoming a journalist. He ends up um, following sort of the path that his family wants him to take. And then some, in, some things end up happening again and they become, they come back together. And this is their story from childhood love to adult love. And I really, really enjoyed it. There were some aspects from the other book, um, that is in this standalone series. Um, and I really enjoyed that look at, uh, the new dynamics of, Remy and uh, the other characters that you have already met if you've read the other book. Um, but you definitely can read this as a standalone, as its own story from for a childhood love to an adult love. Uh, this is also a black author. If you guys didn't know that already, Dylan Allen is a black author. So go check her out. The next book that I finished was Dirty Sexy Saint, which is book number one in the Dirty Sexy series by Carly Phillips and Erica Wilde. I give this book 4.25 stars. I give it five Steam fans. Super hot. Lives up to the name Dirty Sexy. Uh, I listened to it as an audiobook. Um, this is about a young man that has a troubled past and a woman who is sort of almost being forced to marry. Um, her name is Samantha and she comes from a wealthy to do family and her father is like, you will marry such and such because I said so and we're going to keep our business in the family. And she's like, ah, ha, 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 no, I am not going to do that. And so she gives up everything that she knows. And I greatly appreciated the fact that even though she initially came off as a spoiled rich girl, she definitely lived up to wanting to be independent and not, um, 
not uh, sort of falling back on her family and her family name and everything that, in, you know, deals with that. And then you have Clay, who is the bar owner of the bar that Samantha ends up going to uh, the day that or the night that she ends up leaving. He is such a sweetheart. Um, she gets completely shit faced on different drinks and things like that. And he ends up taking care of her. Um, and just really actually takes care of her. She like throws up and he gets her, you know, cleaned up and lets her have a place to stay. And it definitely lives up to the dirty talk. The dirty talk was from start to finish and it was lovely. It was so lovely. So very, very lovely. Um, this does start a series of brothers because you end up meeting Clay's brothers throughout this story as well and in the subsequent books which I'm going to start talking about now. So then we have Dirty Sexy Inked by Carly Phillips and Erica Wilde. I give it 4.25 stars. I give it four steam fans. I listened to this one as an audiobook. This is book number two about the brother named Mason and he was the bad boy of the group of the brothers and you get this feeling um, that he, you know, he has some things. He's a ref he ends up becoming a reformed playboy, and um, I just really, really enjoyed it. Uh, our female character is Katrina, who is the best friend of Mason, has been his best friend for like 12 years, and you get to see how they became best friends and then why they end up. Um, becoming lovers, I guess you can say. There is content warning for rape and cutting and trauma for this one, so tread lightly if any of those trigger uh, words will trigger you. The next book in the series is A Dirty Sexy Cuffed by Carly Phillips and Erica Wilde. This I give 4.25 stars. I give it four steam fans. Listen to it as an audiobook. And this is book number three, the third brother in the series, and his name is Levi. He is the straight lace brother that has become a cop. He does have a military past, which I appreciated. And Sarah is the female character that ends up, you know, being the love interest. She is trying to get away. He has been sort of watching her from the wings. Um, she is a, not a drugstore, a gas station attendant, and she's collecting money and stuff like that. Well, then she ends up falling on hard times. Their worlds start to twist and turn together, and I really appreciated um, their sort of tension they had um their will they won't they but at the same time their mutual attraction that's secret and for this one there are content warnings for uh cults trauma and drug and prostitution so if any of those words trigger you please tread lightly on this one they do handle them well in the story and uh overall so really enjoyed it. Then the fourth book in the series is A Dirty Sexy Sinner by Carly Phillips and Eric Wilde. This book I give 4.25 stars. I give it four steam fans. Listen to it as an audiobook. And as I said, this is the fourth book in the series. I really can't tell you um, why there's a connection here, but there is a connection with this book to the series. You have Jackson and you have Tara. Tara is the bar manager, bar manager for Clay's bar and you get to see how Clay had taken her in and gave her a chance to flourish and become a strong independent woman and in walks Jackson who is this guy that is very smoking hot and reminiscent of someone we've already met and it she it was just a really good story like I said I really can't say too much because you definitely need to read the other three books before you get to this one otherwise it will spoil the entire series there is a lot of information and a lot of couple information revealed within this story that you should already know and have the uh building blocks for if you were to read it so just go into that one for this one there is content warning for guilt, juvenile, um, I'm sorry, juvenile guilt, drug use, and family secrets. So there you go. Alrighty. 
Then the last book that I read last week was Meant to Be Yours by Susan Mallory. I place this in Contemporary. I give it 2.5 stars. I give it two Steam fans. I read, listened to it as an audiobook, and it just got weird. It got really, really weird. So you have Jasper, who is... I don't even know what his profession... Oh, he's an author. That's right. He is an author, but he also is a veteran who got out of the military after a while, and he has PTSD. He was a military police officer in the military, which I understand saying it once or twice, but it seemed like every single chapter we were reminded that he was a military police officer, that he had involved, he was involved in trauma, and that he didn't feel like he was worthy, and he, it, whew. so it got overwhelming, and then it got weird with, um, Renee's mother, um, being like an animal psychic, but it's not an animal psychic, she can hear what animals are thinking, but she can't talk back to, weird, so flipping weird, and then the constant repeating of information was just ridiculous, um, Renee is a wedding planner, and ja Jasper needed some assistance in writing his book, and it really made me feel like I, like they did no research, like she did no research on what actually happens in the military police corps. I mean, I'm, I was a military police officer in the military, and this guy seemed like he was in the military, in the military police corps back in the 80s and in the 70s before they started to allow women into the core and I was just like what how do you not know what huh what that females can be military police officers that they they have softer sides and they kept he kept saying you know I don't know how females are and blah 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 and I'm like Dude, you're like a 35-year-old guy that has experience. Really? What? I, I'm not... It just really, really irked me. And then that whole animal psychic thing just didn't do it for me. And I, I was so mad. So mad. This book turned me off of reading this weekend. And I'm kind of mad at it. Really mad. Really mad about it. Okay. On to what I am currently reading... Like I said, I was really turned off after that last book, and um, so I picked up, I was searching through, because I have um, a project that I'm working on, and I had to search through some books to find something, so I picked up His Forever Family by Sarah M. Anderson, and uh, I don't even know how I feel about this one. I mean, I was like, ugh, I just... <sighs> I'm having a hard time, I'm having a hard time. So hopefully this like looks up and I can get back into the groove of reading things because I will be very, very upset if this project throws me all off, which it, it, it's not going to because I've already completed the project and I can now move on to other things. So, um, so that's all that I have been reading. Let me know if you have read any of the books that I talked about for last week that I read last week, or if you have read the, my currently read, let's discuss it down in the comments section. If you want to time jump and look for different books and stuff like that, they are time stamped down in the description box. Um, I also have a feedback form down there so you guys can help me improve my channel. I have a recommendations form down there. For the recommendations form, you need the book title, the book author's name, and the genre in which you think it falls into. And then if you could leave me your name so I can shout you out if I end up reading the book, it's greatly appreciated. Um, like I said, this is a VEDA video, so I am about to pre-record a whole slew of videos, probably for the rest of the month. I think I have enough videos to complete the rest of the month. I have some special things coming up, so if you guys aren't watching the channel, make sure that you are because I have some amazing announcements coming up. As a matter of fact, there's one tomorrow. Make sure you watch tomorrow's video. There's an announcement coming. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you guys tomorrow.